It's me again, and before we start, we need to acknowledge how, excuse my language, how batshit crazy our weapons program was and still is. It started under a Democratic president and continued under Democratic presidents for generations, from World War II through the better dead than red part of our history and the Cold War to now. This is a picture of the northern part of the Hanford Reservation taken in 1960. I grew up about 35 miles north of here on the other side of the Saddle Mountains, and I remember one day I was walking home from first grade and it started to rain. In the desert, rain is a joyful thing unless the hay is down and I could see the big drops as they fell. It was easy to catch one on my tongue, but I immediately remembered that we'd been told over the radio to stay away from rainwater. I ran home and washed my mouth out with soap, which made my mom wonder what I had been up to. We weren't downwinders, though, and no one I know feels they were hurt by Hanford. We also had a Titan missile base about 15 miles upwind from my house, so there's that. Bat shit crazy. At one point between 1963 and 1965, there were nine reactors producing plutonium for nuclear weapons at Hanford. So the infamous waste at Hanford has nothing absolutely nothing to do with nuclear energy, although people connect the two regularly. It is also only incidentally related to the kinds of releases that got my attention when I was in first grade and put downwinders at risk. Now, about the amendment. To my mind, the most important part of the proposed amendment relates to high and low level weapons waste. The waste was produced when fuel rods from the weapons reactors were dissolved in acid and put through a multi-step process to separate the plutonium and uranium-238 from all the other elements and from the chemicals used in the processing. The waste went into tanks set in the ground. There were actually two types of tanks, what were called at the time high-level waste tanks and transuranic waste tanks. As part of the Hanford cleanup, most of the most dangerous isotopes have been removed from the high-level waste tanks, and those isotopes have also gone through a couple of half-lives. The idea of reclassifying the waste from high-level to low-level has been around since before Trump's election, and it makes sense because the waste we're talking about is no longer high-level. In fact, Ernst Moniz, President Obama's second Secretary of Energy, supported it. So technically Obama supported it because he listened to experts. Anti-nuclear activists mention half-lives a lot, and this is a case where half-life matters for the better. What once was high-level waste eventually becomes low-level waste, thank goodness. Please join us in voting no on this proposed amendment. Our platform tells us to listen to the science, and the science agrees with our position.